hello, 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 friends. Welcome back to the stream. It's been a while. I think it's been like a week that I haven't streamed anything. Um, and we're jumping into something scary. Uh, I wanted to stream until dawn, so we're gonna stream until dawn. Um, I guess the new or a new-ish game came out, um, The Quarry, and from what I have heard, this is the spiritual prequel? Yeah, something like that. So, like, The Quarry is the spiritual successor of this game, and since I didn't want to, uh, buy more games and we already owned this one, I was like, let's, let's play this. So it says I'm supposed to adjust the slider until it's barely visible, but for me, barely visible is here, and I feel like that's gonna really suck for you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it about here, so hopefully y'all can still see everything. Also, hi JD, a little puddle. Oh god, I can motion control? Oh no. I don't think I like that. I think, I think I want traditional. Already off to a great start. Brian, here in spirit, still streaming for- Oh, Jesus Christ! Why? <laughs> Alrighty then, uh, also, thank you, Brian. Uh, if y'all don't know my friend Brian, aka Dormant Volcano Games on YouTube, you should go follow him and, uh, watch his stuff. But it sounds like he's gonna be here later. Um, good lord, why is it already this creepy? Alright, hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Alright. Let's go for a new story. The butterfly effect. Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Tiny butterfly, devastating hurricane. I'm gonna turn this up for like maximum, maximum creep. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Lovely. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Taking off all my rings. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. like already creeped out also how do you guys like my new hair I just got it done today it's so bright all right paying attention now paying attention lovely You know, a little cabin in the woods. Did they? Don't you guys think this is a little bit? Oh, come on. She deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hair. I'm not making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. <coughs> Life is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Very Cabin in the Woods vibes. Why is there a creepy mask in there? Hannah! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. This is just gonna be cruel. Mike? It's Hannah. 
Hey, Hannah. Oh, no. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, no, I can move her. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hannah, you look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Oh, that's what noise I hear is them snoring. Okay. God. Use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Is that not the same note? Yeah. Oh. Jeremiah Craig. Use R2 and the right stick to inspect objects. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Mm. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. And everyone's just like hiding. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all good. It's just a stupid prank. Uh, Jerks. You know that? Hannah! Use the right stick to choose. Wake Josh. Got Gotta it. find the others. There's someone outside. going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. Oh, no. You She's gonna be the first one to die. Hannah! Hannah! So, yeah, why would you go run out into that you know, storm? I think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I don't know my buttons. Sure, no, Nike. Uh, let's go safe. Oh, no. I don't know my buttons. <laughs> Why are you so... Hollow footprints. I think this will determine how well or not well I would survive a horror movie. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Yeah? Yeah. Truth? Truth? Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Yeah, why would you run into the snow, though? That's what I really want to know.
use the touchpad as shown. Oh yeah. no. Oh god, I hate this. I love this, but I hate this. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Ah! What the heck? What the heck? Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true as you unlock totems the events of the past will become clear. Current objective, find Hannah. What? What is happening? Why would you go by yourself? This is also tripping me out having to- Whoa! Hello? It's tripping me out having to do the flashlight at the same time. Yeah, Hannah, what are you doing? Hannah, oh my god, you must be freezing. Here. Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, that's this is why people die in horror movies. <laughs> Ow. Nope. in order to move forward okay There's freedom in this revelation everything you do every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future i want you to remember this i want you to remember this as you play your game every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you so you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. 
Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm mm. here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you a to look card? at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. It's essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. It's a house with a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I do feel uneasy okay. about that. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean... Because this whole game makes me feel uneasy. Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? In the field, probably. In the field? Yes. Is this threat human, or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Ah, oh, well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. I wonder if that affects how I just did everything. It probably does. It probably affects how I'm about to play the game. Interesting. I'm slightly terrified. I wonder if they die no matter what though like in the beginning thing. Pantera? Or Pantier? I don't know. I forgot how to pronounce her name. I like her. She's cool. Remy Malik? Remy Malik? How do you pronounce it? Remy? Remy, probably. Tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but... The girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, 
Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah, that's definitely well, Rainy hello, Malik. Friends and fans, it's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let okay. you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with <laughs> each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for... Okay. For the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip uh, we will never forget, alright? Yes! <laughs> that's one way to do it. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Hayden Pentier. I wonder how many outcomes there are for this game. Ugh, I keep yawning. I'm sorry, guys. Blackwood Pines. I need to grab a blanket. I'm cold. <laughs> I guess I can turn the fan off. Ten hours until dawn. Oh, Jesus. Why do I keep yawning? Sir. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, and diligent. Hello? Someone there? Creepy. Sam, path to the cable car station. Oh, I can move the camera a little bit. That's nice. And the walk fast thing still works. Gates. Oh, what? Gates busted. <sighs> Climb over. Oh my god. Safe. Uh, Climbing's no joke. Uh, Crap! That was uh, wrong. I don't know my buttons.
creepy. Creepy, creepy. Aww. When the don't move icon is on the screen, keep the wireless okay. controller as still huh? as possible. Oh, I hate that. Even if I'm in traditional controls, if you're unsure of what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Red is danger. Brown is loss. Yellow is... Oh my god. Keep yawning. Yellow is guidance, and white is fortune. Hmm. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. The future is uncertain. Whether or not a prophecy comes true depends on the choices that you make. Press R1 at any time to review your is this not R1? Nope. I'm dumb. Cool. Chady, stop yawning. I know, I know. The past is beyond our control. effect appears when your actions change the game. Oh, it. Jesus. Chris. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. So, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. Mm, blow your mind. <clears throat> Why is it all in the snow? It's so cold. Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. You wanna try? Mm -hmm. uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Alright. Here goes.
Got it. Got it. Timer ring shows how much time you have left. Wow, nice little tits. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Mm-hmm. Don't shoot the squirrel. I refuse to shoot the squirrel. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Oh, now I'm Chris. Oh, that's weird. Clue found. Wanted poster. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? 1998. Right, someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, but people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That's for you. A oh, real gentleman. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich. Blackwood you are. Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of getting time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Mm. Get a what? You're a pretty poem. The sleeping giant of the Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Uh, well, I was gonna stay here and catch the disease, but. Say you better get in that car. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And okay. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Oh we my goodness. We've friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that 
that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or mm. talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay, then. <laughs> I want to know why they're doing this all at night and not, like, in the middle of the day. You know? Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. I don't know what irreverent means. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Am I going the right way? Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Jeez! Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts and my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I it just wonder. said that their girl... He's... Mike and M. Slick were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you mm. guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait nature here for a bit. Nature and junk. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? A plus I mean, acting, wow. guys. Sometimes I forget it's good to just stop and take it all in. A, A plus acting, guys. A There's plus acting. They have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. Emily, Mike's. Mike's? Mike's. Mike's X. Resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Mm. I don't think there's a bellboy. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Mike. Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have Michael. seen Michael! Right Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I mean, you just scared the crap out of her. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. Okay, that's not... I'm not gonna tell you again. That, that wasn't the correct way to you know, respond. I past all this. It buds, but... Yeah, it's fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. <laughs> Peace. I think you got the message. It's kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, 
He could have just told her, told him to lay what? off. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Okay, then. Fine. Whatever you want. Drama Thank queen. You. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Yeah, you're probably gonna go find your ex. Just, just my thought, though. Cause like, why wouldn't Sam be going with you if you guys arrived together? <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Someone's sitting there. Can't tell who it is. Oh! Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Yeah, that's what Maybe I thought. The expiration date on their big breakup. I didn't mean to Why? Scare you. Well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh scare my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? <sighs> Let me check it out. So many people to introduce. I missed what he said. Um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? No. I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. He deserves to know. Think that was a thing. Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh, ah! Ha. Hey! Oh, snap! Bird! Good shot. Okay. Good shot. They're cute. Is 
Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. I know all your tricks. I'm not gonna hit the bird. opponents miss jessica the snowball queen okay that sounds vaguely dirty my lady ah oh ho, ho. okay uh-huh okay, you're really gonna get it what am i gonna get well i can think of at least one thing yeah but you'll have to wait until later we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided it's I probably was really cold. Out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. There's somebody in that cable car. Hello again. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Fine. I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. Okay. But I'm growing concerned about your situation. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Makes me the most anxious? Uh... Heights. Snakes. I love snakes, but snakes more than rats. I used to have rats. Ah, that's not fair. They're both scary. I'll say knives. Snakes still versus a cockroach. Cockroaches you can just squish. Usually. Mmm. Clowns more than scarecrows. Oh. Ah. Did that startle you? So sorry. Yes! You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. I feel like I'm picking out my story and I, I don't like it. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. gore. I like it in horror movies, but like if I'm 
talking about like myself. Ugh. Uh, both. I mean, uh, should have hit the other one. Still gore. very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> You're welcome. Spiders, clowns, an awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but Promise. We'll talk again very soon. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. Oh, that sucks. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. <laughs> hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo! You got things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing alright? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Uh. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's ice. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Why you gotta be so awkward about it? Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. The sound effects are nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? 
checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Uh. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? Because you're being Wish creepy you about it. I don't want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that. I mean, weren't you just listening? You got to buck up, bro. Grow up here. Because you're being weird about it. Oh, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, Buck? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coach Ace, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Somebody likes cool buns. Mm -hmm. Holder. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. Uh, I just gotta turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. You could have been more graceful, oh, bud. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the yep, rope. Yep, Jim. Oh, jeez. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, wait, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you've got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No. Nope, but I'll do it. <laughs> no, but I'll do it. Let's not do that. Ex janitor convicted of arson. Wait. Why? That painting's creepy. Why? Oop. Huh. That's cool. Family portrait. Huh? 
hello. What the hell was that? Why is there creepy music? Ready for senior prom. Cute. Well, fine. Um... What is with this artwork? Yep. Why is this so weird to control? Can you move forward? Buddy. There we go. I don't like this. Is this where I was? It was. Is that a door? Isn't this how I came in? This is confusing. I guess we're gonna go upstairs. So it's kind of hard to control. the bathroom and find deodorant can. Where is the gosh darn bathroom? Thank you, thank you. 
thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. Snap! <laughs> <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. That was... That was like... A wild animal. Come on, guys. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off and have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. <laughs> Easy there, cowboy. Ooh, what do I want to do? Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? You were hugging her. Do I attack him? Yeah, he's being a dick. Quit being such a dick, man. Oh, he's no taller than him. Seriously, what's your problem, you meathead? Bitch! Hey, hey, get off me! Hey! What the hell is wrong with you two? We didn't come back here just to tear each other's heads off. I mean, we came back here to have a good time, right? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, cool. You wanna head up there? Sure. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? You should have brought it oh yourself. God, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the table. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Why are they even together? Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. A bath? Cabin, anyway. This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! <laughs> I need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <laughs> that place oh, is huge. Why can't they all just stay there? Fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, Hot Lips photo 
Caribou? All right, read my mind. It's so dark out there, though. Is that even gonna work? They look so creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. No <laughs> Who says that? Wink. Oh my god. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Mmm, do you know? No, Mike. I'm going the wrong way. With all that muscle flexing back there with you and Matt. What a dick, right? Dude has no business coming at me like that. If he's got any brain and that huge dumb melon, he better find it and use it or he's gonna get wrecked. Wow. Nasty Mikey. Just riled up. Me likey. Mm. Ma'am. This thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yep, he sure did. Mike, wouldn't it be nice to fire up the Jenny and get moving? It's a Jenny. <laughs> I'm dealing with clowns, aren't I? Why did I pick clowns? Mike, generator. All right, got it. What? Why did I pick All clowns? Right. Let's see. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. <laughs> Oh, that's just that thing. Is it gonna be the same thing? No. All right, come on, hon, so we can get murdered. know that time where everyone had to use yeah. uh, sound effects for whatever they were doing oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> you psyched yet you don't look psyched yet I'm mm. so psyched right now <laughs> it's like a little adventure Oh my god. Children. Police tape. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Yeah. I wonder if they think they're just missing or if they know that they're dead. Mm. 
No, Mike, stop. Excuse me? Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. I don't know how long he got left, but I'm here half in spirit. Thanks. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum to drink hot chocolate with that. I cleaned my room, but you were Oh. Yes! That looked like it might hurt. Oh. Gotta clean my room, but you're unmuted. Hey, cool. Yep. Hey. Um, okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Ah, he's a dude. All right, coming after you. You just stay put. Oh God. Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? This is why people die in horror movies. I imagined us grunting together. Not what I pictured. <laughs> Where are you going anyway? I'm doing good, Brian. How are you doing? Where are we going? Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. Or not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. I don't like that. Where are we even going? Pretty big, pretty good. Been loving doing the Fall Grime stream, Fall Guys streams. Nice. I want to play more Fall Guys. Fall Guys is fun. That's not creepy at all. Whoa. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on now. <laughs> no, no, it's like a... You all right? Yeah. Close one. Puddle, I'm going to bed, babe. Good night. Okay, good night. I will try to um end this soon. Find a good stopping point. Jesus. Hmm. This place is a real fixer upper. I don't even know what to say half the time that I'm streaming. I'm just like, this is how we die.
Like, were we supposed to go in here to get to the cabin? Like, what's happening? Do what I do and talk nonsense. I mean, yeah, that's one way. There's a random review for Venom Let There Be Carnage in my Portal 2 gameplay videos. <laughs> that's funny. Jesus. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Oh, uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <sighs> Someone's gonna die tonight. Made me decide on the hair change. Ah, I just wanted something fun. I um did a roulette challenge with the girl who did my hair, and um, so this was the result of that roulette challenge. Just climb. Oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike, you've got something on your face. Ah. Boo! Yeah, snowball. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, they're not going to show it. Hey! Oh. What? You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, well, do you need any help with that? Hardy are. All right, John. 
pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Mm. Wow, you have a spirit board? It's like a Ouija yeah, board. Fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They would do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, you know hot water's kind of a major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. Of course it is. You guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? It's like, of course it's in the basement. Of course you have to turn on a boiler. In the basement. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send mm. them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> you know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. <laughs> Praying. There better not be any premarital sex. That's how people die in horror movies. Gosh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Watch your step. I think I can handle a little set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Watch her fall. down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know. Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. <laughs> Not a place to be on your own. Silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Yeah, because you don't have lights anywhere else in this house. Mm. Hey. Oh no. Can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? I tried, it wouldn't let me. Okay, 
First things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. I'm sorry. mean true. Faces are very uncanny valley for sure. Crystal ball. Okay. He is a schemer. Thanks, bud. I 
would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. It's moving in the jar. What was the question? How do you feel about people who are afraid? What does that mean? I see, well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Somebody in isolation, do I feel pity? Oh, this is not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? I'm so confused. Let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So, Why is it moving in the jar? Even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? <laughs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Huh. Not really. Well, again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. It's like I'm watching a TV Today show. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Son of a bitch. Boom. Butterfly effect. Hey, hey, get off me. Hey, what the hell is wrong with you two? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you? Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. But watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Jess? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our Anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone. Spirit, spirit phone. Um, mm -hmm. Abracadabra. Come on. Um, if you can hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a Guys, stop sign. If you're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. Is anyone there? Wherever there is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? I've always wanted to say, or I've always wanted to do I one of those. It's just moving. Oh, shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. How can 
can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. Whoa. What's it spelling? War. No way, I don't want to get haunted. Shit. Oh my god. Warning? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us. We can't help you if we don't know who you are. Can you tell us who you are? Oh, oh here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Who's sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it who's sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. speaking to Beth is that you oh god this is messed up Josh are you fine are you sure because we can stop no dude it, it's cool I want to hear what it says I don't know where to start think about it if if this is actually Beth I mean we can find out what happened that night um, I think. Beth, we want to know what happened to you that night. Can you tell us? H. A. N. N. It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K. I. L. L. Oh my god. Killed. Guys. Guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just, just, just stay calm. I, I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just a ask it something else. All right. Who killed Hannah? I keep trying to find a, a good spot to stop, and it just keeps no. going. I. Library. Maybe there's something in the library P here. R O O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. Oh, no. ah! <laughs> Holy shit, Chris. You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief. Or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's it's not I actually. I don't need fault. this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should, should we go after him? Ah, man, I, I mean he'll be okay. Let's let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Jess? <laughs> Jess! Oh! Fuck nuggets. Fuck nuggets. I love that. That's the most relevant thing this this game has said. Jess, where did you go? This is not funny. Jess, buddy, you in there? Ah! Whoa! Christ! Out of my jeans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway? Hmm. Stop now. Rest. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I need to figure out how to save.
How do I save? Or does it just like auto save? It might auto save. I don't know. Anyway, well, we are gonna call that quits for tonight. And, um, whew, excuse me. Uh, come back in the next day or so. Uh, I don't know. I'll announce it on my Discord. If y'all aren't a part of the Discord, you should totally join. There should be links in the descriptions and all that stuff. And if you want to support the stream, uh, we have a Ko-Fi. All the proceeds go towards uh, equipment for us and our streams and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a day or so, and we will continue more of Until Dawn. So until then, have a wonderful evening, friends, and hopefully no nightmares. Bye for now.